Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about adding a dock to your Windows desktop. Now, you may have seen the Apple Mac operating system and how that has a dock that scrolls along the bottom of the screen. You can have this functionality in um, Windows, uh, just have it at the bottom, or uh, for people who like using the taskbar, you can have it across the top with your favorite shortcuts. So, these are two programs I'm gonna show you, which are both free, where you can download them. I'll provide the links in the description. And there's also a feature that's built into Windows that you can also use. You may find it a little bit crappy, but if you don't want to have extra resources slowing down your computer with these two programs, you can use the Windows uh, built-in feature. So let's begin with the Windows built-in feature. All you have to do is make a new folder and call it, I don't know, shortcuts. And I'm going to drag stuff from my taskbar into this folder. I'll open it actually. Uh, if you want to know how I'm doing it so quickly, drag and shortcuts, you press Control and Shift and then click the shortcut and then move it. So then I'm just adding, these are the things I tend to use most. So here I've got five shortcuts. Now all I have to do is drag this to the top of the screen. So the mouse hits the top of the screen, let go, and you'll notice that we have a bar up the top. Now you can change things about this bar, you can resize it so it's small enough and you can also move this bar I want it to to the right hand side of the screen uh, that's not right. there we go to the right hand side of the screen and um, you can change things about it you can um, if I stretch this out a bit so you can see it right click it and you can say take the text off so you've just got the icons you can say take the title off so you don't see that shortcut bits at the top and you can view large icons or small icons and also you can have it always on top so when you have uh, your programs open so if I opened up Firefox and maximized it you'll notice that it's kept this dock here but also had Firefox open so you can have them always on view uh, also auto hide so if you don't use it for a while eventually it will go off the screen but we won't bother with that so this is this is particularly useful if you just want a really low resource alternative to downloading a dock. Um, this can also, what I've been using it for previously, is all you have to do is drag my computer, I'm going to drag it all over to the right hand side, and you'll notice that all my drives come up here. So I have quick access to all of my drives along the right hand side of my computer. Again I can put up the top, so you have them all along the top. and. Um, you can again you can change it so I can have small icons and then take the text off and then uh, don't show the title as well and then you can make it smaller then you'll notice that I've just got a very small dock down the side which has access to all my drives so if I want to quickly go into the control panel I just click that it opens up control panel or if I want to quickly find the space in my drive I look up the drive and just drag my mouse over it and then you'll see it says 300 gig and then it's free space 132 on drive C Obviously you might need to um, keep the text on to make sure you know what drive you're clicking because also you can access your D DVD drives and things like that for it. So that's quite handy, that's just a uh, low resource alternative to these. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this. I'm now going to install the other two and uh, talk a little bit about them. So these are using the Mac style dock and here I have Wise dock, I'm going to double click it, press English it just extracts to a folder and you'll notice that straight away it starts at the bottom with nothing in it. Now I want to move this to the top so I go settings, uh, position and then top. So then it starts at the top but obviously you can have loads of different ways you can put it uh, narrow and wide. Uh, you, as you can see when I drag my mouse over it it sort of magnifies a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag Firefox onto it, Control shift and drag it on. You'll notice it's come up huge so I can change, firstly I can change the dock size so I can make it absolutely tiny but the magnification I can also change so it only makes it a little bit bigger and I can also change the behaviour automatically hide it and have it always on top like I did with the other toolbars uh, change the fonts and things like that so this is just a quick application launcher if you want it at the top of your screen now another one you can do is called rocket dock it, uses this, it does the same thing as the other one you just accept next next create desktop icon next install now the thing with Rocket Dock is, I believe, it now supports having open windows um, 
and I'll show you a quick demonstration. Oh dear, I've got them both open now. <laughs> uh, anyway, here is it's got some recently. Uh, these have added these in automatically, so my pictures, my documents, and some support things, doc settings. So why not start? But what you can do is have running application in indicators, open running application instance, and minimize windows to the dock. And you can have minimize that um, animation here. So um, you can also run these all at startup, change the icons again, position, style. You can have different um, themes, so you see that. See the theme has changed in the background, so if I change it to, I don't know, Proto Glass, you'll notice it's changed. WiseDoc is more of a fully featured version of WiseDoc, but if I go to play, now I've selected this and pressed OK, if I go to play Casino Royale, which I'll open in Media Player, and again you'll notice I'm on Media Player 10, uh, I've got reasons which I've explained in my last video, anyway, I've turned the sound down, so this is Casino Royale playing in a window so now I just minimize it and you'll notice that it's minimized to the top so you can then I think you can get it so it can do it in real time because there's a video on their website where they've got it running in real time um, but obviously it's not working for me for this video but either way as you can see with this one you can minimize applications to the dock and you'll notice that you can't do it in wise dock so these are Mac style docs and a simple resource um, friendly way of doing it which is built into Windows which is just dragging a folder onto any part of your screen and then you'll see that it comes up as a um, as a doc sort of style thing in the, in the edge of your screen so thanks for watching my video if you now have any more free versions of uh, doc software uh, I know there's star doc object doc or something like that but that isn't free so um, please let me know, please leave a comment, um, please rate, and if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.